Hi, and welcome to another one of my guitar lessons for classic blues guitar instrumentals from the 1950s and 60s. Haven't done one of these for a while, and I have a request, had a request for a tune called San Jose by Freddie King. This is one of the all-time classic blues guitar instrumentals. Many different versions of this. I'm going to teach you the original Freddie King version on King Records, and I'll try to do it note for note the best I can. I may miss a few here and there, but with what I teach you, you can listen to the recording and, and fill in the, the gaps. The song is played in the key of C, and almost all the licks in the song are based around the first position bar chord, the C position bar chord. So I've got my bar at the 8th fret, and that blues box, which is largely between the 8th and 10th frets, that's where you're going to be doing a lot of the picking. There's some other parts as well, but that's where the majority of the song is going to be played. Let's start out and take the introduction. I'll play it through for you one time. I would advise you to listen to the original recording by Freddie King, which is widely available here on YouTube, or you can download it from Amazon MP3 or lots of other places. So here it is, the first part for San Jose. song, I think it's a bass, the bass that plays the lead in part, but you can play this on guitar. Something like that. So you're starting on the 10th fret of the 5th string, then to the 8th fret of the 4th string, and then to the 10th fret of the 4th string. So like this. And then the double stop leg which you'll play throughout the song. It's just your first finger on the 8th fret of the 2nd and 3rd strings. And so the whole first part. So that part. Again, he's getting the double stop and then going to the 4th string between the 8th and 10th frets. Now as far as the number of picks, when I hear this song played by various people, and I played it myself. There's different ways you could do this. You could emphasize this and play. Or you could put that, put the ninth fret of the fourth string in there. But the way I hear it when I listen to the Freddie King is he's playing. song goes to the 4, you play something like that, from the 10th fret of the 5th string, 8th fret of the 4th string, 10th fret of the 4th string, and then to the 4, which is the F, so that will be the 9th fret, or I'm sorry, the 8th fret of the 5th string. So that tells us we're in the, in the 4 chord now, playing over the 4 chord. Back to the 1. goes to the 5, he just plays the same lick with this little variation. And so let's get that. So he's, he's playing, just bouncing back and forth between the 10th and the 8th fret of the 4th string. G augmented, probably a G since the root is there. Whoops. <laughs> Thought too much there. What I'm doing, it's like a C shape. So imagine taking a C chord from up here and just sliding it down. But then with your first finger, instead of just fretting the second string, you're going to get both the second and third strings at the eighth fret get that sound. 
Now you could play a seventh chord. Something like that, but if you listen to the recording carefully, he's playing this. So the whole first verse, let's do that one more time. spot some differences maybe I missed a spot here or there but I think that's pretty darn close and then the second verse he, he starts right into the the lead parts which are going to be played largely on the third and the fourth strings so he starts out like this <laughs> So he starts out, so he's bending on the, the third string, bringing it down, and then winding up on the eighth fret of the third string. I think he starts with the lead in note on the tenth fret of the fourth string, something like that. And then he's doing that same bouncing back and forth between the tenth fret and the eighth fret of the fourth string. The second phrase, he he's doing some he's bending and then picking it at the same time. So again, he's just bending the G string, third string. Something like that. Then he does the stop time. Again, third and fourth strings. That lick right there, he's going from the tenth fret of the fourth string to the eighth fret of the third string and doing that quick kind of hammer on on the tenth fret of the fourth string to the eighth fret of the fourth string, winds up on the tenth fret of the fifth string. Then again, so he's just doing a lot of, and he holds the notes here and there. That's really important if you want to sound like Freddie King. Some guys just play, trying to play it so fast they don't get the beauty of that, of the of the of the held note. Not too long, and then. Like that. Then as he heads into the, the turnaround, he does one of those classic double stop licks. So starting on the tenth fret of the fourth string, and then he's got his first finger on the in that double stop position, second and third strings, eighth fret, and then he hammers on with the second finger on the ninth fret of the third string. And then he flattens out his ring finger on the second and third strings of the tenth fret and then back to the hammer-on lick. So the whole thing, and then the chord, the augmented G. So that is the second verse. Now I may not have that exactly note for note, but that is right in the ballpark. And you can, if you play this yourself, you can mix it up, vary it. I used to play a, the Magic Sam version of this, and I'd combine some of the ideas from the Magic Sam version with the Freddie King version. But if you're trying to figure out the original recording, it's all being played right in that blues box for the key of C. Now we'll get ready and we'll head on to the third verse. The third verse of the song, he leads off with this figure. And that 
is the, the phrase that he starts with. And what he's doing, he's taking the double stop and he's bringing his ring finger down on the 10th fret of the third string. And around that he's playing basically the same riff he's been playing the first part of the song. but he also picks the first and second, he picks the second and third string. And you get almost an octave type sound. Something like that. Then right before he, the stop time, he just bounces from the 10th fret of the fourth string to the 8th fret of the third string. So let's play that whole first half of that again. into a on the stop time he plays this band so and then into the four so he's doing what I call a long band he's got his first finger on the eighth fret of the second string and then he drops his other fingers down on the ninth tenth and eleventh frets and that puts all four fingers into the band which gives you more control and and power there so he bends, and then he comes, just plays the scale, starting on the 8th fret of the 1st string, 11th, 8th fret of the 2nd string, then the band on the 3rd string, letting up on the 8th fret of the 3rd string, and then the 10th, 8th fret of the 4th string. So that whole bend. After the bend, he does this. So the bend. So. So he does that. And then winds up on the 8th fret of the 4th string. So again. He does this. He does a walk-in phrase, which is real common in Freddie King's playing, starting on the eighth fret of the third string to the ninth fret, then the eighth fret to the tenth fret of the second string. Then he bends on the first string, that same long bend, same long bend that we used on the second string. Just put it on the first string. So. First finger on the eighth fret of the first string, second finger, third finger, pinky. And then he's going to bounce back and forth between the eighth fret of the first string and the eleventh fret of the second string. So the whole thing. And he bends the, the third string. And from there, we're ready to get into the solo verses. There's two solo verses. <laughs> 